Good evening, everyone. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and today is Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. Let me know if you can hear me. Okay, I'm just waiting for that first comment. Now I'm getting worried. Am I live? It says I am, right? Okay, I can see you now. Perfect. Who I was getting nervous. Okay, so I can see. Um, okay, great. That's perfect. So both YouTube and uh, Facebook is showing comments. So we'll give everybody about a minute to get in here. How are y'all doing? Aloha. I wish I was in Honolulu. I bet the weather there is nice. Perfect. Okay, y'all can hear me. The sound is good. The lighting's good. You're very welcome, Denise. Okay. I think it's pretty, our weather's pretty good here today. Um, it's actually 54 right now, so I can't really complain. I think it's supposed to get um, kind of not so good on Thursday, but it's nice today, so I'm not going to complain. So we are making two projects tonight, and this is actually going to be like a little mini class and you'll be able to get the class packet if you place a minimum order. So I'll be talking about all of that um, as we make the project. Oh goodness, there's a blizzard in Wyoming. Oh, you can keep it. I don't want. I don't want a blizzard. I don't want any snow. I just remember that I didn't grab the embossing folder that we need. <laughs> right as I was talking, whoops! It dawned on me that I didn't grab that. Oh, it's been raining for a week. Goodness. Whew. I don't want the rain either. <laughs> okay, so let me show y'all the projects. They're so cute. Look at this. So we're doing an adorable owls tonight. We only have, so today is the 21st, and the end of the month is the 28th. So you guys have exactly one week left. Uh, to get the Adorable Owl stamp set and the Dandy Designs paper. So, um, hey, by the way, can y'all see my little, can y'all see the banner at the bottom of the screen that has a uh, chicken scratch on it, the little blue bar? Can y'all see that? I can see it on my side, but I don't know if y'all can see it. Oh, I forgot to put my face in the corner. There we go. I'm reading comments. You're very welcome, Marlene. Okay, y'all can see it. Okay, yay, I'm learning things. So uh, I'm also learning a new way to do prizes at the end. It's not going to happen tonight because I kind of have a stomachache today. So I really need to be feeling my 100% when I try to something new. So I, I'm hoping next week we're going to try a new way to give instant prizes. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's see. What are we going to do? We're going to start with this one because 3D things are just so much easier for me. So this is a little triangle box. And, of course, I've made uh, triangle boxes forever. Um and I already have kits made up so that y'all can see. So with this, um, for this project, there's going to be multiple colors in the packets. So the choices will be um, either this one or this one or this one. Okay, so the you'll get either one of the three. And tonight I'm gonna make this one since we are, since I already have one of those. And for this one, instead of getting the fresh Frisia ribbon, you'll be getting the um, 
papaya. Pell papaya? What's it called? Yes, pell papaya. Okay, I've got all the supplies here, and let me get the measurements. Now, the measurements are going to show the... Um, um, the card also so just ignore it for right this minute and we're going to be just making the um, the box okay so nine by four is the designer series paper I'll bring that back up in a minute so here's the supplies I'm going to go ahead and fold this for the packets because it is going to be a lot easier to ship. So it's nine by four and you just basically fold it in half. Okay, that's the first step. And then now let's stamp. I am using Memento. Did y'all notice the little pom pom on the owl on the owl's hat? <laughs> um, let's see. basic gray memento and then now I need the image which is this one okay oh wait where did y'all's comments go there it is oh that's so good oh wait I'm confused. Cliffy, are you saying that both your chick rewards wasn't in there? Because I remember mailing both of them. One was a bundle and one was a die. Yeah, you have to text me. Uh, pom poms came from Amazon. Yeah, I'll make sure to provide the link tomorrow. Okay, there's Mr. Owl or Miss Owl. And then. Uh, for the greeting, okay, so we're using uh, the Adorable Owls, but we are not using the greeting for the box. Uh, the choices that we have, uh, I thought about using Love You, but, but we didn't. Um, so I used Happy Birthday from Best Day, and you will be seeing a stinking cue card with this, um, with this stamp set um, very soon. Yeah. Like maybe next week. That would be a good time, right? Um, okay, so let me get the, the happy birthday. And I am not using, I kind of felt like the memento was just a little too bright. And I wanted it to kind of match the gray in the owl. Maybe I was overanalyzing it. Okay. Now, I'm done with that. Set that over here. So I'm using, y'all can see that, right? I'm using uh, gray granite for the, and this is crumb cake, so let me get rid of this one. So on the card, we're going to be using crumb cake, but on the triangle box, we're using gray granite. So gray granite, uh, petal pink, fresh freesia. Is that it? Let me get. Okay. What in the world do I have here? Oh, papaya. Okay. So I'm going to start with the dark uh, gray granite. So today, um, Stampin' Up! added some stamp sets to the clearance rack, um, and I tried to notify y'all, um, but I think a lot of the English ones sold out pretty quickly. There might still be some over there if y'all want to take a look at the clearance rack. I'm not real. I'm not real sure. I haven't checked in a few hours, but. Yeah. Did y'all get my 
Um, did y'all see my notification on all of the, let's see, where did I post it? I posted it on my blog, on my Chicken Scratch Facebook uh, business page, and then I posted it also in the Chicken Scratch Stamps group. And then my team. Now I'm using light gray granite. This stamp set is so cute. Did y'all see the quilt box that I did this weekend? I was so tired. I couldn't I couldn't really clean house or do laundry or do anything. Um I just sat and sewed. Um although I kind of wonder if I'm starting to get sick. I've had a headache and a stomach ache. I hope not. I've heard that there's like a bug going around. I don't want it. Okay, so fresh freesia for the um hat and the eyes and you don't have to color the eyes if you don't want to but I wanted to okay y'all saw the updates good yay I am um Probably next week, I'm going to be sharing with y'all um, a number to text to get instant messages from me, text messages instead of email. So many of my emails are going into people's spam folder. I can't tell you how many times a day I get an email from someone saying that um, they didn't get my email. I think that because there are so many spammers out there that our emails are just not getting delivered anymore. I don't know where they're going, but every single week someone tells me they didn't get my email. And I can't really do anything about it, you know. I'm at the mercy of the internet or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, I'm trimming around this because I am going to fussy cut it. And it's a lot easier to fussy cut when it's small. It is cute, isn't it? Uh, where did the stickers come from that's on the end of the blends? I have a free download over on my blog. Um, who said that? Elaine, it's a free download over on my blog. If you can't find it, let me know. If you go if you go to um, um, programs, I believe. I'll double check in a minute after I'm done fussy cutting this. Oops. In fact, we should be getting some, we're going to be having some retiring colors and then some new colors here pretty soon. And I think um, the I think fresh freesia is one of the colors that's one of the end colors that's going out, unless they bring it into the regular lineup, which I have no clue about that. Okay, that looks so cute. I didn't mess up either. So now I'm going to take one of the little pom-poms and um, in our embossing toolkit, I can't remember the official name of it, these awesome tweezers are in there. They're really, really strong. Um, so what I'm going to do is pick up the pom-pom and hold it with the tweezers and then let me get my silicone craft sheet 
and then I'm going to put some liquid glue on the hat and then I'm going to set this on there and just hold it for a second. I feel like I'm doing surgery. I think it's going to stay too, but who knows? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get my Stampin' Dimensionals now. Well, you know what? Let's just wait a minute. Let's give it time to dry. Just a little bit more time. I'm going to attach the um, stitch circle to the scallop circle. And for the greeting, I'm just gonna angle cut it with my scissors and trim it down here. Okay, that's done, all that's done. So now we can make the um, triangle box. Um, I'm going to use an erasable pen. This is erasable. I don't know why I have my mouse here. Yes, you can color the pom-pom if you want to. In fact, um, watch this. So I'll put this on here. And I again, I want to hold it with this because if not, it's just going to kind of disappear on me. Um, so you can take your, I you'll always use the brush tip and just brush it on. And then you want to pick it up from the other side and finish coloring it. Whoop, see, see what I mean? You really, you really need the tweezers to, to hold on to it. Okay. Let's see, turn over. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Um, but you know what I mean? Come back here. Oh, girl. <laughs> it's like a roly poly. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm not the most coordinated. Okay, yes, you can color your pom poms with your Stampin' Blend markers. Um, let's see, did I color the, I used pale, papa pale papaya this time. On the original one, I used pumpkin pie. So this time I used pale papaya because I wanted it to be a little more subtle. It was kind of really bright, but you use whatever you prefer. I, I like the subtle better. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my erasable pen these are the Pilot Frixon erasable pans. I absolutely love them. I have them in a multitude of colors. So what I'm gonna do is um, mark this at the two inch, well, hold on. I don't want the silicone craft sheet. I want the, I want the stamping mat, okay? And what I'm gonna do is mark this at the two inch, the two inch mark. And yes, my ruler is upside down. That's okay. My fold is crooked. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna mark it at the two inch on both sides. Okay, see my little pink mark? Oh, thank you, Doris. So Doris just gave the, um, the link for the Stampin' Blends. Thank you. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take my stylus and I am going to score from that tick mark to the very edge 
down here. I don't look like I don't, it doesn't look like I'm in the camera view, so let me move that up a bit. So again, I'm going to start at that tick mark and go all the way to the corner. And I'm going to do that like three times. And then I want to do the same thing on this side. So in the corner to the tick mark. And then you want to do that on the other side as well. Sometimes it kind of sort of goes through. Um when you're doing it but not enough to really be able to fold up fold on it you can open it up and do it if you want but I've been making these for a long time I usually make the smaller one though this is this is a, the medium size one so I've got three sizes of these that I make so now I'm going to erase my tick mark and I'm going to fold on those score lines. And then it folds up just like that. It's such an easy box to make. Um, the height of it is um, four and a half inches. The width is four inches, but it has to be, you know what I mean, like, like uh, round candy fits in there really well. Okay, now we're going to take the 1 8 circle punch. You can get these at Walmart or Office Max or Office Depot since we don't carry this size anymore. Now you can glue these, okay? So you can get your glue and you can glue these sides. I don't because the ribbon holds it closed. But if your candy was heavy, then you might wanna glue them, okay? So you have choices, to glue or not to glue. Okay, now. And then I'm just eyeballing on the other side, but you wanna make sure that both your flaps are going to the back, okay? Now I guessed 16 inches for the ribbon to put in the kit. So we'll see if that's gonna work. So let me cut 16 inches. Oh, Deborah got her owl pins today. Aren't they so lovely tonight? I have the white one. So there's pink, white, and um, blue. I love them all. I know my husband has to look at this stuff and think, she has lost it. <laughs> Whatever puts a smile on your face, right? So the most difficult part is threading the, um, the little holes. It's actually not hard, but... See? Okay, so I probably... I think 16 inches is too much, so don't quote me on the 16 inches. I'm probably going to trim off, trim it down to like 14 inches. Yeah, because 16 is too much. I guess I could do 16 because then that's what, half a, half a yard, I think. Don't quote me on that either. Okay, so now we're going to add this here, and I'm just going to use my Stampin' Seal and add that there. I'm going to add the greeting with uh, mini dimensionals. So, oh, that's so cool. Several of y'all got the pans. That's awesome. I love it. Okay, maybe I take your picture tool. And I'm going to put two mini dimensionals on here. Okay. 
So no matter what color you make this, it's going to be stinking cute, right? And then this is going to get popped up with a dimensional, a regular dimensional. And then all we have left is the embellishments. And then we'll make the card. <laughs> so cute. I just love it. The embellishments that we're using tonight is the Fun Flower Resin Shapes. And so if you place a $35 order using the host code, let me pop that up there real quick. Now I know why I had my mouse. Um, yeah, so if you place a $35 order, you'll get the packet to make the two projects. But if you place a $50 order, then you'll get these embellishments as well. Okay, the full pack of embellishments when I close the host code. Okay, let me take that off there and let's add them real quick. I got to talking and then forgot. So because the pom-pom is up here on his, uh-oh, sorry, what am I doing? There we go. Because the pom-pom is there, I decided that I was only going to add two flowers. You could add a third if you want to, but I just kind of count that pom-pom as another. Okay, Angie. Grr, come on. It's stuck. <laughs> All I can do is laugh, right? <laughs> okay. Last one. So look at the two. Well, wait, let me. This is like a hot, hot mess on my desk here, isn't it? Wait, let me stick that in the chick stand and get all this out of the way so that you can see both of them. I don't need the mouse. Okay, here we go. What do y'all think? so cute right I just absolutely love it it just makes me so happy adorable owls that are adorable okay so now we're going to make the card now for the card um, the packets are going to be one of three choices so uh, the balmy blue is uh, one of them and then the petal pink is another one. And I, I have chill bumps because I think that all three of these colors are absolutely beautiful. So balmy blue, granny apple green, and petal pink. And if you'll notice in here, uh, it's got uh, everything die cut for you and ready. Um, so you can see the designer series paper. I'm going to stick with the with the original one because those are the color markers that I have pulled. But if you were doing this one, you can use Calypso Coral and Balmy Blue, not Balmy Blue, Petal Pink. And, um, let's, and um, I would probably use Crumb Cake to color the owl because we are using Crumb Cake on this one. Yeah, so Crumb Cake. Calypso Coral and Petal Pink, and that'll make it really, really, really cute. And these flowers in here coordinates with all of the colors. Isn't that awesome? That took a lot of thought process, I have to say. Okay, so I'm going to put these markers away and get out the ones that we're going to need. So we're using Balmy Blue and Mint Macaron and Crumb Cake. Yeah, and crumb cake. And then I want to keep the light petal pink for his beak. And then this stamp set, this time we're, we are using the greeting uh, that's included. Yeah. Okay. Don't need that. Don't need that. So this is what it will look like. The speech bubbles will be cut out for you also. I'm not sure if I'll be successful stamping on that, but we'll see. Okay, this is for, um, so here's how the card opens. Like this, and then like this. Now I am not stamping a second owl tonight. That would be the third. So we'll just pretend that I'm going to do that. But this is how it's, that's how it opens. Yeah. Um, okay, so our paper is here. And these two pieces here, one's going to go here. 
and then one's going to go on the inside, but we're going to emboss one of them. So we'll take that out because we're going to emboss it. And then this is the piece of paper. It's got the edge cut out. This is what we're going to stamp on. So we're going to stamp three balloons and the owl, and uh, we're going to fussy cut all of them. Yeah. So the balloons is in the Friendly Gnome stamp set. And I don't really know if we have another balloon. Um, somebody somebody on here knows, so let me know. Do we have another balloon die or, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's stamp. I'm using the same owl because I kind of feel like my birthday's in a couple weeks. And so it's like it's the perfect time to be... Uh, working on making birthday projects so you could have used like the little owl with the bow tie but I'm like I'm just making birthday projects right now okay there's that and of course I stamped it like in the wrong spot but that's okay so one two three and then the greeting so let's see if we can stamp the greeting on this um I don't think I can but well maybe I should be positive I can do it right <laughs> not bad yeah see you know, the old balloon punch, we did have a balloon. Oh, so Ramona says in the elephant parade bundle. Thank you. And also in the birthday chick. You know, I noticed the birthday chick stamp set was on sale today. Did y'all notice that? Yeah, the birthday chick. I'm going to use um, dark crumb cake first to color Mr. Owl. You know, I took a look at the at the clearance because I have a lot of stamps. And I, I took a look just because I wanted to see if there was any chance that Bella and Friends would be there. I know that they sold every single one of those, but I wish they'd do another run of it, you know, make it available again. I know they would sell out. Okay. My eyes are whew, getting blurry. I'm coloring real slow. Looks good. And then now the light crumb cake. Ooh, I can tell I need a new one. My uh, my light colors. I always use the light up. Sometimes, here's a little secret for y'all, sometimes I actually give away the dark ones because I don't run low on the, on the dark because I use the light so much more than I do. So I give away the dark ones sometimes. It's actually been a while since I've done that. Okay, almost done. Balmy blue for the eyes. I wonder where my um, other balmy blue is. I guess I forgot to bring my other one. It's going to be real hard to do the shading without it.
Grace here, of course, dropped it on the floor. <laughs> oh, Jill, you didn't get it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's such a... Well, how can I not say it's a beautiful set? It's my dog. Um, yeah, Miss Bella. Okay. Now, well, no, let's do the feet, and then we'll move on to the balloons. So, pale papaya. I actually really like pale papaya. And then we're going to do mint macaron for the rest of the, the party hat. <laughs> And then now the balloons. I'm going to turn these over and And now mint macaron. She is okay. She is um yeah, she's 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 not the healthiest anymore. She's ten and a half years old, so she's starting to have some issues, um, sadly. So I yeah, I hate saying it. She's my third child, you know. I just love her so much. She's such a good girl. Okay, so now I am going to um, fussy cut all of these. The card's really easy to make, though, so I'll try to I'll try to go fast. I'm not too terribly. I'm not late, though. Yeah, I've only been here 37 minutes, so usually to make two projects, it takes what right at an hour. Okay, I'm going to concentrate now. I need some better glasses. I don't know where they are. Yeah, I think I'm fixing to have to in, uh, go up to another um, strength. I think my uh, 1.5s are fixing to be retired. I think I'm officially needing a two or or greater. I think it's. I think also it's because my sugar's been so high. They said that it's affected my eyes, which I was supposed to call the doctor today, but I didn't. I ran out of time. I was supposed to call yesterday and then today, and I keep I keep avoiding it. Okay. I'm concentrating real hard. <laughs> hey, I was watching somebody uh, drawing on a live on the live video the other day. And you know, that was pretty um that was pretty therapeutic. I guess I could cut this space out where between the feet you don't have to though I noticed I did it on one and not the other okay now the balloons they're they're a little challenging I might have to not talk I should have done these in advance. <laughs> I didn't have time though.
Oh, I cut into the line. Grr. That's okay. That one's going behind, so it don't matter. <laughs> yeah, that one will just go behind him. So actually, the end of them, all of them are going behind him. So I can um, chill out a little bit, right? I hear Bella coming in here. She's she's looking for something. I'm not sure what. Hi, Ruru. We were just talking about you, honey. Here. Here you go. <laughs> yes, she eats paper. She's an eating machine. They can hear you, you know. <laughs> I'm almost done. Bella, you're smacking your lips. Can y'all hear her? There we go. We're done. Uh, the balloons came from the Friendly Gnome stamp set. Okay, we need to emboss this and um, everything else is done. Well, we need to do some cutting, but let me get the die cut machine. Let's move this over. Where did I put that embossing folder? Oh, there it is. Hmm. I don't know why that's sitting over there. Okay, move my phone. Uh oh. I got so much stuff here, I can't even get my um, machine. I love this embossing folder. Okay, so for the standard embossing folder, we need a one and a three and a three. Everything went cattywampus, didn't it? Okay, now let's get everything back in here. And the first thing we're going to do is score this card at four and a quarter. So just like the standard four and a, uh, four and a quarter. And then... Let me move this out of the way. We are going to cut from the score line to the bottom edge. So wait, I, I have a sample here for you so that you can see. So this is how it's going to look when we're done cutting it. Okay, so we're just going to remove that part. So I'm just placing uh, that in the track and the bottom in the track and then I'm just going to cut. Okay, so there it is. I forgot to, um, I forgot to do the thingy, uh, the bone folder. So I'm going to do the same thing on the designer series paper. I'm just lining up the tip in the track and cutting. 
you're only going to be using one of these on this card, so you can save the other one for another card. Okay? Save that for something else. So we're going to attach... Uh, oops, come here. We're going to attach this paper to the inside, like that. Except I need my bone folder. Drive me crazy. Get my liquid glue. And then this piece is going to go on here like this. You could use this pattern if you preferred. I love this pack of paper too. I don't know what I'm going to do next month when it has officially retired. Like, what am I going to do? I mean, I definitely have a bunch of it. That's why I'm offering it as, um, as a, a class packet. Every time I get a celebration item, just about, I get the paper because I just love it so much. Whoops, I forgot to score this. So this piece measures... Um, let me show you the measurements again real quick. Right here. So this balmy blue piece measures three by eight and we're gonna score it at four inches. Okay, we're going to attach this in here in the middle, so if I open this up, you'll see it's attached in the middle, so I'm just going to turn it over and put liquid glue. We're going to attach the embossed basic white layer right there. Oh, y'all's comments. I'm like, where'd y'all go? There you are. Thank you, Ramona. On the inside, this is where you're going to sign the card, so we'll go ahead and add that. Yeah, I love this card. And it's not a complicated fun fold, you know what I mean? Like some of them are so complicated they make my head hurt. <laughs> well, some of them I can't even figure out, to be honest. Uh, okay, so I am looking for the rest of my speech bubble. Please tell me I didn't throw it in the floor. No, I didn't. Yay, thank goodness. Okay, so we're going to assemble this, uh, the focal point of the card now. And I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet again because... We need to attach the speech bubble. We need to, because when you cut it out, it, it separates these two. So the way that I attach them to each other is with mini dimensionals. So I'm just going to turn it over. So for those of you that get the class packet, just remember this tip because it's going to come in two pieces. Um, just use your, you could tape it if you want, but we're already popping it up, so you might as well go ahead and just use your dimensionals to hold it together, right?
Okay, so there's that. And that's going to go up here so we can go ahead and take the backing off. Just make sure they stuck down well. I peeled one back up today by accident. I think that's too low. <laughs> that's the beauty of dimensionals is that you, if you peel them up quick enough, you can uh, reposition it. <laughs> okay. And then the greeting's just going to go, but we're going to add that last. So we want to start with the balloons and let me show you. Where's my dimensionals? Here we go. What I like to do is just put the put the owl down with the dimensionals. And then I'm just going to attach the balloons with dimensionals on the balloon part. And then slide the string behind under him. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So this one is going to go here. And this one's going to go here. And then this one's going to go up here. Okay? This one's the easiest, so we'll go ahead and add that. Oh, I forgot to do the pom pom. We got to do the little pom pom too, right? Where's my pom poms? Right here. <laughs> These things bounce all over the place. That's why I have it in my little fabric basket. Okay, a little bit of liquid glue. I can't see at all. These pom poms, they're it's a good thing I brought a whole basket of them, right? Okay. Hold it there for a second. Oh, you could use string or uh, twine, absolutely for the for the balloons. For the balloon strings, yes. Okay, now we need to add the greeting just with liquid glue. And you know what? Since I have a dab of it there, I'm just going to use that. And this comes off here just a smidge. Right? And then for our embellishments, which is, like I said, the same embellishments that we used on the the triangle boxes. So one up here. We're going to add a bigger one down here. And then a smally up here. Okay, so now I'm going to show y'all um, the host code again. Oh, it's 2.54 in the morning. Wow. So here is the special host code um, for the packet to get to make these two projects. Um, and it is on the, um, in the description below. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. If you're not interested in the little class packet, I still have my regular host code. And all the details of that are also over on my website. And then now I have some, um, whoops, chick candy to announce. Uh, wait, I want to show you all the winners from last week. So last week, uh, Pam won the 
uh, YouTube Chick Handy number one, Denise one, uh, Chick Handy number two, and Cynthia one, Chick Handy number three. So I did reply to their comments um, on YouTube. And that's how you enter to win the prizes that I'm going to show you. Um, oh, I had one more thing I wanted to share with y'all. Don't forget, you have one more week to join to get the blue mini embossing machine. Or you can get the white one. But this the deal ends on uh, February 28th at the end of celebration. Oh, sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the, um, the chick candy for tonight. And the way you enter to win is uh, after the video is over, when it's completely done, what, go over to YouTube, because I know some of y'all are on Facebook, go to the video on YouTube and leave a comment on the YouTube video. Uh, because I use Comment Picker to draw the winner. Yeah. Um, okay, and I'm going to draw the winner Thursday morning after 9 a.m. So I have the sheet here of the YouTube Chick Candy. So the first prize, let me shrink this, put it over here. Um, the first prize is going to be Bermuda Bay Stampin' Blend Markers, the light and the dark, and a chick stand. So that the first person will get that. Uh, the second person is going to get the drawstring bag and the pastel adhesive backed sequins. If you don't want the drawstring bag, whoever wins, you can just tell me to give you designer series paper and I'll give you a sampler of the designer series paper because I know not everyone's interested in fabric stuff. And then the third winner is gonna get uh, this stamp set and the square gems. These two items are retired, um, but hey, they're brand new, unopened, right? So again, you just leave a comment on the YouTube video. Um, it's usually available about five minutes after um, I sign off. Yeah. Okay, so now it's Q&A time. Um, I'm going to try to reply to um, all the questions. Okay, that's okay. That's weird. You didn't see the winner's name? Yeah, I posted it. Let's see. Yeah, their names are right here. Like there's Pam and here's Cynthia's. This is their comment that they left. This is like comment picker chooses the winner. So I don't have to count anything or anything anymore. It's so, so much easier. Okay, back to the comments. Um, oh, wait, who's confused? Why are you confused? Um, okay, Cliffy, why are you confused? I'm just going to keep scrolling. Oh, why are people saying congrats? Oh, congrats to the winners. <laughs> yes, congrats to the winners. That's so nice that y'all say congrats to the winners. Yes, and I probably should have said congrats too. But I think I did on their, when I replied to their comment, I said congrats. Uh, so like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not going to do the instant prizes tonight because I'm, I found a new way to do it that's a lot easier. Um, but I, I didn't feel well enough today to, to implement that tonight. So uh, Carol asked if I could use a glue dot to adhere the pom-pom or would it hold? I don't know if that will work, but I will be happy to try that for you. So let's get the pom-pom. And I'm going to get my little tweezers again. And I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper right here. And I have my glue dots right behind me. So let's see if a glue dot will work. I really don't know. I, I've not had much success on using glue dots with like fabric stuff. But hey, it looks like it might work like a charm. Hold on. Let me let me use the take your pick tool. That might be smush. Heck yeah, that's a lot easier. Carol, thank you so much. So now we have a new way to add the pom-poms. Just use a mini glue dot. I love it. 
so much easier, so much quicker. Yeah. Okay. It takes a village. Um, okay, I'm going to keep scrolling back now and look for the... Um, So uh, Mary says she's counting the gurs. You can make a drinking game out of it. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I wonder how many gurs I had tonight. Uh, please post the link to making the little fabric basket. Okay. Oh, you know what? Who asked that? Cindy, can I just tell you something? I don't know if you were here a couple weeks ago or like a month ago. I told everybody that I film videos so that I can remember how to make my own projects. So I made like six of these and I was so stinking excited. And then something happened and I didn't get the video filmed and I didn't write anything down because I was going to film the video the next day. Like this is one of those things I stayed up till like two in the morning making because I was so excited and I wrote nothing down. And I have no clue how I made it. I was going to make 300 of them for my downline. And I bought like this fabric because it's got birds on it. I bought a whole bunch of this fabric to make them. I don't know how I made them. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going <laughs> to, maybe I shouldn't be telling y'all that. I'm going to have to figure out how to make them again. Yeah. <sighs> Sometimes, what can I say? Um, I'll put these back over here so y'all can see them while I'm looking for the questions. Um, Ramona says, don't forget to like my page. Yes, don't forget to like my page. Marilyn says she hates fussy cutting. I feel your pain. I used to hate it too, but I actually have gotten much better about it. And the secret is, is that if you're attaching it to white paper, no one notices that you didn't cut it really well. It's a little different when you're fussy cutting and then you're attaching it to like a blue piece. You're going to see where you, where you went off, where you're not so good at it. But if you're attaching it to white cardstock, it's not so noticeable. Um, what is the color of cardstock? Um, this one is balmy blue and this one is fresh freesia. Yeah, hopefully you're still here. Um, wait. Why not cut balloons and draw strings? Oh, I can't draw a straight line to save my life. I would, I would rather fussy cut. Uh, okay, so Deborah says she, wait, are y'all saying y'all couldn't hear me? I don't know. Like five people said they can't hear, but I don't know if y'all were talking about me. Um, is there a reason why dyes, wait, is there a reason why they didn't make dyes for all their stamp sets? I think just because some dyes don't actually sell. Yeah. Although I tend to think that any animal, just like the playing in the rain dies, are on back order. They're animals. The bunny punch sold out and is not available till May. It's an animal. We need more animals. I sound like a broken record, but seriously, we need more animals. Um, okay. Chris says she wished they'd go back to selling them separately. Which ones? Oh, you mean the blends? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, but the good thing about it is uh, is that the two-pack is, is the price of our competitors' one ink pen or one marker. So if you think about it from that perspective, um, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, ours are a lot more affordable, and you get two instead of one. Uh, the DS pre yeah the the uh, Dandy Designs paper is free with a hundred dollar order. <laughs> okay, I think I'm all the way. Um, well, I'm not all the way to the very beginning yet, but I'm almost there because I remember I remember some of these comments when I was just signing on. Uh, normally, you would put candy in here, but this one like. The ribbon is, um, this ribbon is so fabulous. I'm going to be so sad when it retires, but it's pretty forgiven. 
So you can untie it and retie it, and it's still going to look it's still going to look good. Yeah. Whoops. Sorry about that. Um, okay. I think I've answered all the questions. If I missed your question tonight, I'm going to put my email up here real quick, just for those of you that are still here. So here is my email. Hopefully you can see it, right? Next time I'll put it in the bottom down here uh, on that blue line. So helpdesk at chickenscratch.com. If I missed your quest question, if you have any other questions or if you need anything, um, let me know. Okay. Any last minute questions before I sign off? Let me scroll to the bottom real quick. Uh, yes, the Dainty Delight uh, paper is gone. It, it, um, one of the winners asked how to redeem their prize. Here you go. Here's the, you can either email me at my help desk and send me your mailing address, or you can fill out my form at this link. So it's HTTPS, whatever that is. <laughs> so bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash 3C. You, you have to type it exactly. It's case sensitive. So if you typed a lowercase u there, it wouldn't work. So if you can't get that to come up, just send me an email. They both work. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Any other questions? I do not sell my drawstring bags. I make just enough to be able to offer them as giveaways. There's so many demonstrators doing what I do. And so I just try to have like little special things that I can do um, to keep people. Yeah. Uh, Danielle says that the Stampin' Blends bleeds out her images. I, um, I don't have that issue. So are you pressing too hard? I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll need your address, Cynthia, your mailing address. Yeah. I do give away a lot of bags, but I really, I really, um, I try to do everything I can to keep, keep my customers. <laughs> yeah, so I make just enough. I batch make them. I make about 12 at a time. Uh, Danielle, I don't know. I don't have, I mean, as you can see on my coloring, I don't have that issue. So, um. I would say maybe don't press so hard. And are you really using Stampin' Up! paper? Because if you're using non-Stampin' Up! paper, that it, it will definitely bleed. Our paper is designed for coloring and for stamping. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you have to be using Memento ink also. This is the must. You can only use it with this. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Thank you. I'm glad y'all like them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sign off and go have dinner with my husband. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you so much.